English show usually comes in forms of difficult problem sums, but in fact it can be broken down into simple uh, concepts to solve the questions. So let's look at how to convert the uh, ratios into the equivalent ratio. Now over here, I have uh, three examples of the ratios where we can use it to uh, understand and how to apply the uh, concepts of the equivalent ratio. Now first of all, if you were to look at this, question one, we have three, we have a ratio of two is to three. Now to change it into equivalent ratio, we have to multiply the three by two to get us to a value of six. Alright, so once we have multiplied this ratio by two, we're gonna do the same for the other ratio as well. By two times two, that gets you to four. So therefore, the new set of ratio, which is 4 is to 6, is actually equivalent to 2 is to 3. All right. Now let's move on to the next example. We have 4 is to 5 as a ratio. Now we have this 16. So how are we going to change the uh, ratio 4 to a 16? That's why we have to multiply by 4. Alright, so when you do this, when you have multiplied by 4 for this ratio, you have to do the same for the other side of the ratio, and that is 5 times 4 that gets you to 20. And hence, 16 is to 20 is actually a new set of ratio, which is equivalent to 4 is to 5. Okay? Alright, now how about the third example? So we have 1 is to half. Alright, 1 is to half. So how are we supposed to change 1 to 2? We have to multiply this by 2. Right? We're going to multiply this by 2. So similarly, we're going to multiply the half by 2 and that gets you to 1. And therefore, 2 is to 1 is the new equivalent, a new ratio that's equivalent to the uh, ratio of 1 is to half. Alright, so now let's use the equivalent ratio concept to solve some of the ratio problem sums. Now, in the first question, we have a bag contains straws of three different colours. One quarter of the straws are blue and the ratio of the number of red straws to the green straws is 2 is to 3. Now, what is the ratio of the number of blue straws to that of green straws? Alright, now to solve the first question, we're going to put down the ratio in this format. Now since in the question it has mentioned that there's one quarter of the straws are blue, this means that the remaining three quarters of the straws are red and green. So how do we put one quarter and three quarter uh, fractions into a ratio? So we have this one is to three, where three units represent the total number of red and green straws. All right. Now, on the other hand, the question has also mentioned that the ratio between the red and the green straws is 2 is to 3. So this 2 is to 3 adds up to a total of 5 units, which is the same representation as the ratio for red to green straws. So first of all, we have to make this ratio of 3 and the ratio of 5 into an equivalent ratio. So what is the equivalent ratio? That is 15, whereby we multiply 3 by 5, it gives us 15, which is this. And 2 plus 3, that represents 5 units, you multiply by 3, it gives you 15 as well. However, in a new set of the equivalent ratio, when you multiply 2 by 3, it corresponds to 6, and 3 by 3 corresponds to 9. So from here, you can see that 6 plus 9 adds up to 15 as well. Alright, so this is how we should uh, convert the ratio to the equivalent ratio because the total number of straws, the total number of red and green straws will add up to a ratio of 15. Alright, so what will be the number of blue straws to the green straws? And that will be, so what is the ratio of the blue straw to the green straw, and that will be 5 is to 9. Now question 2. A pencil case contains pens with different colours. 
One sixth of the pens are blue and the ratio of the number of red to green pens is 12 is to 13. Now what is the ratio of the number of blue to green pens? Okay, now for question 2, it's mentioned that 1 out of 6 of the pens are blue. So to put it down the ratio, you can see that there's 1 unit for blue pens and the remaining pens, which are the red and the green pens, represents 5 units. Now it has also mentioned that the ratio between the red pens and the green pens is 12 is to 13. Right, 12 is to 13. So how shall we change this ratio of 5? to represent a total ratio of 12 and 13 that represents the red and the green pens. So first of all, you can see that 12 plus 13 gives you a total unit of 25. Now to change 5 to 25, we have to multiply the ratio of 5 by 5. Because 5 times 5 is equivalent to 25. Alright, so with this, you have it as 25 as the new ratio as shown in the second set of the ratio. So now we have 25 units to represent the red and the green pens. And you can see that 12 plus 13 adds up to 25. So this set of ratios are equivalent to each other. So once you have done the conversion, then, then how do we find the ratio of the blue to green pens? So the ratio between the blue and the green pens will therefore be 5 is to 13. Question 3. Suing baked some pies. She gave one-fifth of them to her relatives and 30 of them to her friends. She was left with two-thirds of the pies. How many pies were left? Alright, so let's take a look at the solution for question 3. Now the question has mentioned that Suing has given one fifth of the pie to her relatives and 30 pies to her friends. So as a result, she has left with two third pie. Now, for these two fractions, we have to convert it into a common denominator. And to change it into a common denominator, we got to multiply by 5 for the fractions of 2 thirds, and we're going to multiply by 3 for the fractions of 1 fifth. Now as a result, we can see that the fraction of 2 thirds has been changed to 10 over 15. All right? And the fraction for 1 fifth has been changed to 3 over 15. So why must we change it into a common denominator? Because the total number of units that represent the total number of pies is actually 15 pies. So as a result, if you sum up this 10 over 15 and the 3 over 15 fractions, it gets you to 13 over 15, where 13 out of 15 pies have been, um, are, are representing the number of pies given to the relative and the number of pies left. So what will be the fractions that represents the 30 pies that have been given to the friends and in fact that is equivalent to 1 whole minus 10 over 15 minus 3 over 15 which gets you to 2 over 15. Alright, so that means 2 out of 15 fraction represents the 30 pi and it's important to change this uh, 30 pies into a fraction so that we'd be able to use the units to find out the total number of pies that have been given or that have been left in the uh, um, question. Alright, so we have this as 2 units to represent 30 pies and therefore 1 unit will represent 15 pies. And what about 10 units? That represents 150 pies which means that there will be 150 pies left. Okay? Thank you for watching. If you need more questions, do check it out on the link below.